think Reasoning Mind is the curriculum that is the future because this is what kids need. When we have a dropout rate that is 20, 25% of our students that don't graduate from college, we know the reason why. It's engagement. The students are not engaged. Um, we have curriculum that doesn't meet their needs. Um, it's too holistic. It's too traditional. And this is an opportunity that you can have a child um, learn exactly what he or she needs to learn and, and exactly what he or she wants to learn. Um, Reasoning Mind provides that opportunity. And um, this is what we're going to see in the future. And it's just so exciting to know that the opportunities for my students at Port Houston are now. My students receive the future now. And um, I just love giving that opportunity to them. I've never been involved in anything that is um, in, it's, it's revolutionary as Reasoning Mind. This is something with uh, a few million dollars that we have invested today and a few more million dollars in the future could absolutely revolutionize the way that science and math is delivered in the United States and change the learning curve of our citizens. I think Reasoning Mind is special in that way because of its design, which is based on decades, if not more, of research on how students learn and what the barriers are. And then uh, that, that research background is coupled with just extraordinarily innovative technology and tools that uh, deliver then a product that nobody's ever done before. This is a program that's on the cutting edge, and I look for this program to blossom and be all over the United States. And I said, your worries about math and getting your teachers to individualize instruction, it's over with. Try this program and you will see tremendous success. My name is Ray Goodman. My, my name is Darius Goodman. You guys are what? Brothers. Brother and sister. Brother and sister. Do you both use the Raising Mind program? Yes. yes. Tell me about that. Well, Reasoning Mind is like a math tutor that really helps children with math and to get to a higher level of math. Or it can just be, or it could just be for the students that just, just want to have fun and do, just, just want to have fun doing math while doing the same thing they're doing. It's wonderful, simply because. It, the system will alarm you in the event that a child is struggling or whatever, so therefore that provides me an opportunity to do small group instruction even in the classroom to target the areas of weakness identified by the RMCD program. And for those children that's gifted or work at a faster pace, it also pushes them to the next level. So it's an ideal program for the different levels of children you may have in your classroom. A lot of teachers when they find out that I'm teaching RM or I talk about it, they say, ooh, I'm the computer. But what they don't understand is that I do more individualized teaching now, each class period, than they probably do in a month. Watching it at one of our schools, we have seen a lot of progress that our students have made and we are very proud of the progress that these students continue to make and the enjoyment that they get from this particular program. It enables every child to be successful at a level, develop the confidence to then go on, and enable some children to discover they're really good at mathematics. They just didn't know it before. I like math a lot more now, and I don't just like it more. I, have, I know more about it now. Reasoning Mind doesn't it's not just about you know teaching them to a test, teaching them how to do certain problems. Okay, this is the format you're gonna see, let's practice it and drill it all the time. Reasoning Mind develops conceptual knowledge, like the conceptual grasp of a skill. So on a basic level, you can give any of my kids any type of question you want on multiplication or division or exponents and they can answer any kind of question you want to give them because they have the conceptual knowledge. You don't have to put it in a specific you know, cookie cutter format for them to know how to do it. 
we start preparing children for algebra in as early as kindergarten. And one of the critical pieces, we take a look at reasoning mind, supplemental in grades two, three, and four, and then as a primary core program in grade five and six, that we see number relationships, mathematics modeling, um, multiple strategies, representations, uh, as being critical pieces for algebra readiness, and that we feel comfortable and confident that when children are leaving our classrooms at the elementary level through using reasoning mind and heading into middle school, that our children are prepared, ready to take on algebra, uh, as early as middle school, and that's really exciting. Talking with a principal, I would say if you want your young people not only to graduate, which is already a significant challenge in many of our schools, but to graduate prepared to go on with education, take Reasoning Mind and put it in place, put it in place as quickly and as effectively as you can and tell your fellow principals, superintendents, about it in Texas and around the country. The Reasoning Mind program really um, came at an opportune time for us. We had hired two new fifth grade teachers and one of the reasons that we implemented Reasoning Mind when we did was because of the teacher preparation. I felt like we really needed good, strong, ongoing professional development for our math teachers for fifth grade and Reasoning Mind was perfect. This is my third year using the program and I hope that I never have to not use it because I think it's, it's one of the greatest things that has come along in a very long time to help students understand and to develop a love and appreciation for math. Well, there's a lot of job satisfaction with it as a start. They feel like their students are really learning. They feel like they've been given the tools to do the job and they're seeing the results on their test scores. I mean, they're, they're seeing students who understand math. It's made me a better teacher. It's made me think about things. It's made me think about who I am and what I am as a teacher. What do I want to accomplish? I think that Reasoning Mind offers a lot to teachers. It also offers a lot to students. When you see students come back to you and they're like, oh man, it's right. I did the seventh grade and we're doing like this pre-algebra stuff and I totally understand it. It's to, so, so cool that the, the value of variables and they go on and on and on and on about it. And they're so excited. They're just excited. It's like, can I have homework? Who asks for homework? These kids do. And I think that that's something unique to Raising Mind. Because it's something that they enjoy, we don't have to say, okay, don't forget to work on your reasoning minds or have you all worked on uh, on your lessons today, what have you been doing? They come to us. It grew from an idea that uh, Alex and Julia and George had uh, that uh, evolved now into a full-blown math curriculum. Uh, for basic math that is now in 107 schools and over 12,000 students. I'm convinced that in 10 years it'll be not only all adopted all over Texas and used by private schools as well, but in many states in the country. I really see it as a tool to transform K-12 education and mathematics. I would tell a school district that's looking at adopting it that it is probably the single best choice they'll make in math curriculum. That uh, not only will they see their test scores go up, but they'll turn out students who when they go into algebra understand math concepts and don't look at algebra as a course that could keep them from graduating, which unfortunately it does in many cases, because they'll, they'll have the background and they won't go in with the dread of math that a lot of students go in with. They'll go in thinking this is going to be fun. You know, there's a Darius in every classroom in America. Imagine the impact on our country if we could make a program like Reasoning Mind available to every classroom in the country. Not only will we challenge the Dariuses of the world, but we will challenge and engage and motivate large numbers of young people and we can solve the math problem in America. Um, what do you want to do when you grow up? What kind of job do you want? I want to have actually two jobs. Okay. A math professor and a basketball player.